familiar with the abandoned building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, I'm being held against my will. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Those free vacation coupons you received in the mail were a trick, luring you to a game with deadly consequences. Only one of you will survive. And I hope that one survivor will keep us in mind for their future vacation needs. Alright, first question. The Large Hadron Collider is currently the biggest machine in the world. What's its circumference? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, come with me. Welcome to the Killing Room! Ah, the old skewers trick! Pick a space inside the box to hide. When this was used in magic shows, there were safeguards inside to prevent injury. But don't worry, I took those out. Any good magic trick needs some helpful volunteers. Here's the fun part. You get a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. Say, entrails! Oh, I needed that! We're not done with you yet. You're a ghost now. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. Here's a thought I often have while gazing at my garden bed. What makes carrots orange? Who picked this? The rest of you, time for consequences. Welcome to room 217. It's time for donations. You each get $500. Give some of that money to your friend. The person with the most cash at the end will die. But if you give to someone and they have $800 or more, I will kill you instead. Begin. Time to check the receipts. Well, that's a lot of money. Too much, really. So you're safe. But you spent your money unwisely. How can I run a hotel, be a good son, and burger daily? Somehow I make it work. Let's keep moving. 
If I hit a British person with a spanner, what did I just strike them with? Who picked this? Well, that sucks. Let's try another one. According to his website, what does my boy Bob Vila recommend I use to get the blood out of the lobby carpet? Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Follow me. Let's play a dice game. It's real simple. The player who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. Roll them! The player with the highest total dies. What can I say? Dice just roll like that. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. Which planet is generally the same size as Earth? Who picked this? Aw, oh, crap. Let's keep moving. What three regions make up Great Britain? Who picked this? Only a ghost got it wrong. Everyone again? You all need to be taught a lesson. Math! It's back, baby! Do as much math as you can before time runs out. If you do the worst, you die. Let's go! How's that math going, Matthew McConaughey? No pressure, but time's almost up. As we say in team sports, you were mathematically eliminated. <laughs> Let's try another one. Which of these basketball players did not have their skills stolen by the Monstars in the original Space Jam? Who picked this? One of you is still alive. It's time. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Get to writing.
time's almost up. Now, let's see if there are any matches. Well, I guess mind reading doesn't exist after all. Did I say that out loud? Let's keep moving. What is NACL? Who picked this? Welp, didn't want that to happen. Let's try another one. Who is not in the Paw Patrol? I want to show you something. We're going to play with mirrors. The ghost of my Aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. Pay attention to her unique handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. Go ahead and start writing. Watch closely. One of these new words will be a word written by Aunt Mildred's ghost. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Oh, um... That's a weird mistake. It's time for you to join my Aunt Mildred. You know, my dad had the strict rule about not letting a killing spree overstay its welcome, so let's make this a little bit more cutthroat. Okay, this is a game where only one person can survive, so... I hope you can hold your breath! Only one of these keys will open the lock to your tank. So many keys to choose from! Frustrating, right? Choose another key. Finding keys is hard. I think we can all relate to that. You've made it so far, but can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're on your way to escaping. Ah, but it's not just you. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Stop. Next question. Boy Scout merit badges.
moving on. Has an exoskeleton. A lot of lucky guesses. Here comes trouble! Here comes the darkness! Canadian National Holidays! Time is almost up! Stole some yummy life force. London two blinds. Another life force swap. Core engine parts. The darkness approaches. Lunchables. Almost up. Here comes the next question. Stage names. The darkness approaches. One last trap. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. All the right answers to escape. There's only in the darkness. Cast of the musical cats. Time is almost up. Bye. <laughs>